Um, I read, for my reading, I read The Age of Federalism by Stanley Elkins and Eric McKittrick. Um, I chose this for several reasons. I chose an academic book because I was interested in knowing how quickly I read uh, from an academic standpoint, because that's the kind of reading that I'm interested in. And um, it's a book that's difficult to read, but that I'm really interested in the subject, and um, I know the subject well, so it wasn't as difficult as it may have been, say, if I were a student learning it for the first time. Um, I was surprised by the outcome. I, I feel like I'm a really slow reader, and maybe it is a slow score that I got. Um, I read one page in 2 minutes and 44 seconds. Uh, I thought it would be a lot more, so I was pleasantly surprised by that. Uh, but I would say <clears throat> um, that I understood what I was reading, but if you had asked me what it was about, I couldn't really um, tell you. <laughs> uh, I could tell you a general idea of what it was about, but not the details. And if I were reading it for academic purposes, um, don't think my comprehension would have been high. Uh, then I read it a second time and my score actually only went down by about six seconds, which also surprised me because I thought I read it a lot faster, but I definitely understood it better. Uh, the things that I had questions in my mind when I tried to recall it after the first reading, suddenly I had the answers um, and I could skim over certain parts because I understood how they fit into the whole the second time I was reading. So uh, definitely was a good thing for me to read it twice. And um, as a student, if I had time to read everything twice, it would be a lot better. Um, I was a little bit distracted by the stopwatch that was next to me. So I don't think I was anxious, and I actually enjoyed it. But I, I think I probably was consciously trying to read a little faster than maybe I would the first time I read something, if I weren't thinking about the rate. Um, wasn't nervous. I think if I were, if I certainly on a test, I know anybody would be a lot more nervous um, than students who have grades and such. So um, you know, I certainly feel for them with the high stakes activity. If it were a high stakes activity, would definitely have slowed me down and made me more anxious. Um, so, and again, like I said, the um, context was something I was familiar with, so that that definitely makes a difference in terms of the results and, and the emotions felt when when reading it. Uh, it's something I enjoy reading, so it's different than when you have something that you have to read for school that you're not really interested in. I, I know that I myself would be a lot slower and a lot more distracted than if I'm doing a subject that I enjoy. Um, do I do activities uh, before I give them to students, no. And yes, I have run into many times when I've given them an activity and it did not go over well and I thought, oh, this didn't work the way I thought it was going to work or maybe I should have tried this. Um, I know especially when I was teaching my kids science and we would do an experiment and I had no idea what I was doing um, and it didn't work and I couldn't figure out why and I realized that uh, had I done it myself beforehand, I could have avoided a lot of the things that did not work because I would have seen, I would have been able to figure out other ways to go about it or other materials we had in the house that may have worked better. So um, yeah, definitely, especially in the homeschooling, many, many times when I realized I, I should have figured this out and tried it before I tried it with my kids because it ended up just being frustrated and a waste of time. Um, uh, unfortunately, as a teacher, I don't, I don't have the time. I don't, I don't know if anybody has the time to actually do everything before. Um, maybe a big project you might want to try before. Um, but it certainly is a good idea. Uh, and that's it. I'm looking forward to hearing about everybody else's reading. Bye.